today we decided to stop in a Goodwill in Baytown, Texas, just to see what kind of treasures we can find. And hopefully we can find something to flip on eBay. Check it out. What's going on there? Finding anything good today? <laughs> Look at it. Oh yes, Levi just loves being on camera. <laughs> Very busy at this Goodwill today. Let's see. Oh, this is pretty cool. Got some Levi 501s. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, a nice little pair of cinch jeans. These are pretty good. Look like they're in good shape. All right, what, 3830s? Not too bad. Oh, these jeans are nice. Let's see what other shoes we got here. I don't know what these are. Oh, these look all right. Nothing special, though. Yeah. All right, let's see what else I got. Huh? Oshkosh Bagosh. Those were pretty popular. I remember a long time ago, but uh, I don't think they're enough. 399 not really a good profit on those. I wish they got more and more, more though. What are these? Gold sparkly shoes? <laughs> yeah, you'll definitely stand out with those. Oh, these are kind of cool. I'm not seeing anything special around here though. I mean, just some average kid shoes. Come on, where are the good ones? Converse! Converse All-Stars, yes. I know I can get something for these at least. $4.99, that's not bad. They're in really good shape. I can clean them up a little bit and definitely turn some kind of profit on these at least 10 15 bucks so i'll grab those all right let's see what levi is looking at over here see what he got his eye on this is cool looks like some dallas cowboys dry fit moisture wicking type material shirts those auto sell for something not sure exactly how much they're worth but definitely got to be worth something so we'll go ahead and grab those we got two of them and they're yellow tags so they're 25 percent off which is even better so let me throw those in the cart all right, let's see if we can find anything else good. Any other good clothes? Oh, he found something. Let's see what this is. Oh, looks like a very ugly gingerbread sweater. Uh, don't think we'll be getting that one. Let's put that back. All right, let's see what else we can find. Oh, I guess these would be cool if you were either landing on the moon or meeting a unicorn. So I'm not doing either of those. Ah, look at that. Sorel. So these are a little pricey. I know when they're new, they're kind of in rough shape. But I can definitely clean them up. They only want $3.99 and they're yellow tag, so it's 25% off. Yeah, it looks like they're pretty good. A uh, uh, little spot on there, but I'm pretty sure I can clean this up. It's a little rough, but that's all right. A little TLC will fix these right up. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab these and throw them in the cart. Now this is kind of cute. This is cool. One team has Mickey, Pluto, little onesie, 4T. Unfortunately, there's enough profit in this to be really cool with it, but I'm sure some little kid would like this. Now this is cool. Yahtzee. Everyone likes Yahtzee. It's sealed. Only $3.99. I always go for the factory sealed brand new stuff because it's very easy to sell. Let's see. We got this Chronology sealed also brand new in the box. So this one actually goes for a decent amount. I'm going to definitely go ahead and grab that as well. For $3.99, definitely a good buy. All right, let's see what else we got over here. Oh, Light Bright, that's pretty cool. I remember I had one of those when I was growing up as a kid. This looks like a newer version though, it's not the original. Gosh, I wish it was the original because that would be worth quite a bit. Uh, yeah, they want $3.99. I just, it's open too, so it could be missing stuff. I just really can't take the chance. Not enough of a profit. Let's see what else we got here. Anything good? Uh, some Christmas stuff, Monopoly. Huh? Thought it was a Furby, but it's just a piece of junk, basically. So we'll throw that back. Let's see what else. Tower Bridge. Yeah, puzzles, again, if they're open, it's just too much of a chance of missing pieces. That's mm, kind of cool, I guess, if you're into scrapbooking. Um, didn't even look that up to see if it was worth anything. Anything else? Anything else? No, not really. Just not seeing anything that catches my eye. You know how you see that thing that you just you know it's worth something that catches your eye? Well, Power Rangers, that's cool. You know, back in the day, but uh, this one just it doesn't really look like it's in the best shape. It's, uh, they want too much for it. I think they want like a $4.99. It's paint chipping. It was like $2 brand new, so moving on. So this is a lesson on the value of shoes. I found these and I got excited because these are Jordans and they're in not bad shape actually and they were relatively inexpensive but they're kids shoes and I looked them up and this particular one is not worth very much and not even enough to really worry about me fooling with to make any kind of profit so kind of passed on those and uh, it's just a shame because I thought they were worth something but they're really not so moving along. 
I always look through the plush because sometimes you can find some really valuable stuff. If you really pay attention, you might find an older one, a vintage one, that would be worth quite a bit. I'm not seeing any of that today. What is that? Remember that shoulder thing with my mom with my mama hair? Mm-hmm. Check those out. And now only three bucks, four bucks, three ninety nine. Uh-huh. Only a dollar each. I think we should get these because I don't know why, but for some reason I'm feeling like these could be worth something. And they're brand new. Again, I always get brand new stuff, especially if it's stuff people can use. These are like super cheap. Something told me I should have gotten this sewing machine. It's like 15 bucks. I'm sure I'm going to regret that later when I look up the value. But anyway, hindsight's 2020, so moving along. I'm not seeing uh, some records. Let's check it out. Hey, it's Jack Black's twin. Check it out. Oh, let's see. A uh, ballerina man. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, some fancy guys. Uh, so far, not finding anything. Let's see. Uh, he looks happy. <laughs> Baptist church, great. Uh, okay, so far not finding anything that I just have to have. Huh. There we go. Razala. Everybody's free. I used to jam to this. This is actually a good find. And $1.99. I'm sure I can get a lot more than that for it. So I'm going to have to grab that one. Huh, this is cool. Casio stuff in the box always sells really well. This is a keyboard stand. Looks like the box is in pretty good shape. Let's check that out. Let's see. Yeah, it's only $4.99, and I'm sure I can get at least 20 bucks for this uh, in the box as long as everything is there. So, yeah, I'm going to grab that one. Checking on Levi to see if he's finding anything good. I see him eyeing some shoes over there. But he hasn't come running to grab me or showing me something, so I don't think he's found anything. Now this looks cool, it looks kind of older, like a Minnie Mouse, Disney official merchandise. Looks like some kind of cup or something. See, they only want, what, 99 cents? Yeah, I think I can do 99 cents. Sure, I can get a decent amount for this. And looks like it's pretty good shape, so yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that. All right, let's look at shoes one more time and see what we can find. And these look like they're brand new. So I will absolutely be grabbing these because, uh, let's see, yep. Totally brand new, still have the tags on the soles, stickers on them, still have the original price tag, they were $34.99, and I know I can get a pretty good amount, we got $12.99, but still I can at least make $15, $20 bucks off of these, so they are going with me. Now, this is cool, this is kind of cute and creepy at the same time, but I love it because it's Yoda, and they only want $1.99 for this Yoda basket. I guess it's an Easter basket. It has some little green bow. Not even sure if that originally went with it, but I'm going to take it and I can look it up later and see what it's actually worth. The line actually is not bad at the checkout, so I should probably think about heading that way pretty shortly while it's still good and I'm not really... Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Is that an Alienware computer at Goodwill? What? How much do they want for this thing? What, 99 99 I mean, it's not on sale, but that's still a really good price for Alienware. I mean, they go for at least $200. Assuming everything is working, assuming that there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, let's see, this USB ports. This is looks like it's getting a little stuck. But, I mean, it opens. I mean, it looks like it's in really good shape. And, I mean, I'm not seeing anything wrong with it. So I went ahead and grabbed the Alienware. Um, I think we pretty much found everything that we're going to find at this Goodwill today. And I'm ready to go. Levi's ready to go. So I think we're going to go ahead and head to the checkout. So I feel like we found some pretty good stuff today. Let's get this up there. But, yeah, overall, I would say... Um, I feel pretty good about our trip today. All right, I think we're ready to head on out. So we found a few good things in there. I wound up not getting that Alienware computer because I just noticed a sticker on it that said power supply failing and no hard drive. So it really wasn't worth it. I still found a lot of good stuff. It was kind of busy in there today too, a little crowded. So it was a little bit of a challenge, but we pulled it off. I'll share with you all what we found. Quite a few good things today. I was I was surprised. The store was really crowded with it being Memorial Day weekend, but we still managed to walk away with uh, a few good finds. So let's get right to it. 
first thing here is we got the Dallas Cowboys shirts and these are actually nice. They're a quick dry short sleeve. I think we paid like three bucks a piece for these and I'm not sure exactly how much those will go for but we should get a decent amount. And we got these Levi 501s 3832. We got a pair of those. And at the Goodwill jeans are five bucks at the Goodwill we went to. Then we got this pair of Levi's 514, 3832. And then we got these cinch jeans, which are pretty nice, 3830. Anytime I see anything Casio, I always stop and take a look. Those can be worth quite a bit of money. This is a keyboard stand. I think these go anywhere 50 to 80 bucks. I could be wrong. Yeah, we paid 499 for that one. Then we got these Converse All Star. I mean, got them for five bucks, and they're in really good condition. I know we can definitely get more than that for those. And there were a few of these. I mean, they were only 99 cents each. The Scott uh, Scotch Desk Grip Dispenser. So not too bad. These are brand new in the package. And I'm not familiar with this brand at all, but I looked it up, and it is worth something. I think these go for about $30. They've been selling for these Sorel Girls Boots. These are like uh, winter boots or snow boots. Anytime I see anything with a brand name that's prominently displayed on it, safe bet that it's probably worth something. And of course, brand new in the package stuff, Yahtzee for $3.99. We have this other game, Chronology. That's cool, and I think this one was only $3.99 as well. This one too. <laughs> Minnie Mouse, anything Disney, it's going to be worth something. I know this will sell. I think this was $0.99. Cents. So for $0.99, cents, not a bad deal. The head turns cup. Yeah, because you have a place for a straw. This I could not pass up. The look like a basket, like an Easter basket or something. Yoda. Official licensed product, as you can see there. And it was a whole $1.99. I know this is worth more than that. So grab that. A lot of these I didn't even bother looking up because I knew they were worth more than I was paying. Brand new pair of Skechers. Still with the store tag, original store tag on them. And how much did we pay? $12.99. A little more than I usually pay for tennis shoes, but I know we'll get much more than that for them. These, honestly, I didn't even look up because I know medical stuff sells for a decent amount. And these were $3.99 each. It's like an arm when you have shoulder surgery and a mobilizer for the shoulder. The arm. Shoulder abduction system. And usually I take a quick peek through the record albums and I didn't see anything that caught my eye except for this one. Rosala. Um, this is like a dance mix. Everybody's free to feel good from the early 90s, if anybody remembers this. Used to play this song a lot on the radio. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cool to find this. I looked it up. I think we can get a decent amount for this. Uh, like I said, it was only $1.99, so like all the other records at our Goodwill. So yeah, there you have it. So that was today's haul. Hopefully you enjoyed what we found, following us as we go through the store, picking out different items. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Feel free to share any feedback in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and catch you on the next one. Peace.